We're here in the tent of Icon Aircraft to talk to Kirk Hawkins, CEO of the company, about the Icon A5, its progress, and a couple of questions that have come up since we talked a year ago. And Kirk, tell us first of all about the delay that was announced in the first deliveries of the A5 and just what's going on in the aviation world right now. Well, of course, we know the entire aviation industry about nine months ago um, was struggling due to the economy and the capital markets. We were scheduled for a round of financing late last year when the capital markets shut down. That delayed that financing until recently. So that, that delay translated into exactly a nine months left. Okay, what remains to be done? I know it, it's kind of uh, hard for the average aircraft enthusiast to understand what goes into bringing an aircraft from concept yeah. to market. Tell us what's left in the timeline to happen yet before this thing starts showing up on a pond near you. Well, one thing I hope is obvious that the amount of rigor that's gone into this airplane from its conceptual design, industrial design, engineering has been very meticulous. The flight test regimen is pretty long as well. I mean, building an, an okay airplane is hard enough. Building a great airplane is exponentially harder. So we're about probably six to eight months more of flight test before we'll freeze the OML. So we're about probably in the middle of flight test. We finished the first phase, which is airworthiness. We're in the second phase, which is the aero refinement phase. And the last phase is the user interface. We're also right into the uh, design for manufacturability phase. And that goes until next year and then the production phase. How are things going on the LSA front in terms of the, the regulatory issues and meeting industry consensus standards and going through the ASTM process? Well, the regulations, I mean, as you know, are spectacular. In fact, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the, the major regulation change. I mean, SPL, light sport um, aircraft, that's sort of what opens up the whole new market. And the, and the regulations that are written are, are actually brilliant. And so as far as meeting those regulations, we're right on schedule. I mean, in fact, in fact the aircraft is either exceeding or meeting all the ASTM standards right now that we've checked. What's involved in, uh, in getting the final okay to call it, uh, in this case, a special light sport aircraft? Right, special light sport. So under the new rules, the manufacturer self-certifies. So the ASTM outlines the guidelines, and then we will certify when it's ready. Of course, you know we've got uh, just some rock star aircraft engineers. We're fortunate enough to get some of the guys from uh, Scale Composites, their VP of engineering is our VP of engineering, and uh, John Carco is our lead aero engineer uh, with 21 years of scale. So some of these really, really talented guys that are pretty rigorous about uh, making sure the aircraft performs well. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect including the Cirrus Airframe Parachute System. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. When we saw you here last year at Oshkosh, the plane had flown off water, had just flown off water for the first time, but had not been equipped with wheels for the first time yet. Tell us about that process and how it went. Okay, well, the reason we went with, with the uh, hydro testing first, it turns out that building a seaplane is a little more involved than building a land plane, and the hydrodynamics is often a bit of a black art. And not much has been done since the early 30s and 40s with NACA. When we developed this amphibian, so we, we chose to go after the water stuff first, and we brought in, of course, a great aero guys, we brought in some of the world's best marine architects, and it was a collective effort to design one of the most advanced seaplane hulls that's probably ever been fielded. So that, so that phase finished up a few months ago and then we decided to put on the landing gear. That started about mm, a few weeks ago now, so we're in the, the, uh, the landing gear phase and aircraft flew for the first time off its wheels about two weeks ago. Tell us about the volumes and the numbers you need to do with this aircraft to make this a successful business. Well, it turns out that, uh, I mean, we're, we're planning on volumes in the order of magnitudes of like a few hundred a year. And it turns out that the market research that we did back at Stanford University many years ago with the light sport rules exposed a pretty large, what's called latent demand, pent up demand for low cost, fun, affordable aircraft. Well, in, in the consumer market, in the consumer product industry, if you want to really inspire people, the mass market around products, they have to have a different level of sophistication, which starts from who's the market, what drives them emotionally, functionally, everything else. And you do a very, uh, it's a very Apple-like, BMW-like approach where you look at the comprehensive 
product design process to deliver a, a vehicle that not just performs well functionally, but also inspires them emotionally, aesthetically, and has a good user interface and these sorts of things. So it's, it's that level of execution we think has the ability to take aviation from being a bit of a niche market into something that has much more broad market appeal. Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer. Kirk, when we were here a year ago, you were indicating delivery dates that were already getting fairly far out. Right. Now you've got over 400 depositors who are waiting for the aircraft, and you're, can, can you gear up to produce enough to meet the demand? We're, we're very careful and methodical and rational about production ramp rates. So we'll initially begin and, you know, we'll, we'll start in the first gear and go to second gear and then third gear. So the, the production and the business model runs at a, at a relatively low rate, but we'll start off and then ramp up according to demand. What we're seeing is demand that's exceeding our expectations. In fact, we're thinking about in the next few months, we may actually shut the list off because right now we have so many orders that we've got a backlog of two or three years and we don't need any more sales right now. So once, once that list closed, it may not open back up for, uh, for a while. Obviously, some companies have used customer deposits to fund development. You guys are keeping them in escrow, but it, it certainly must show potential investors uh, the validity of the demand you tell them there is for the, for the product. It does. So the first thing we wanted to do is to make sure that we're not putting people's money at risk who don't want to take that risk. So we're, while we're an aggressive, adventurous company by definition, we like people to understand the risks that they're taking, whether it's flying, it's capital. So if you're excited about the airplane and you want to put and get in line and put your deposit up, we're not asking you to take company risk. So that, so that money is put aside, held in escrow, so people are comfortable, right? Now, it, it does mean that, that you're not locked in, but, but what we have seen in market validation more than validates the market. I mean, we're seeing right now, in fact, of our 420-something positions that we're on, 35% of our, of our customers are non-pilots, never flown before. I mean, and we're seeing it, I mean, it's coming out of the woodwork where people are like, I've always wanted to fly, and finally there's a company and a product that actually inspires me to get out there and do it. And combined with the light sport and sport pilot license is the perfect match. Well, Kirk, it's always great to catch up with you. It's a, f a fascinating product, and it, it caused, well, you were here for the reaction last year, too. It doesn't seem to be diminished much this year, and I think a lot of people are looking forward to somebody shaking the industry up. Thank you.